I know about King and how he's been manipulated stuff. Yo. Aries said, where are the receipts? <laughs> they done brought receipts all in through this video. She put them in competition. Girl, you are the Donald Trump of YouTube. Donald Trump, you pale. Something wrong with you. Yeah, they hatin' is an understatement Every time a motherfucker talk, I hear him hatin' This shit not about where you from or what set you claimin' It's about getting money to keep them earners raisin' If this song pop, they- Alright, what's up, y'all? We are on part two It's gonna be a long night for me Cause this gotta be up tomorrow, you feel? So pretty much, in part one, I wanna do a recap Basically, she had them- she took them out of their old um their old contract with their other network that's why they felt like they had to pay her something mm -hmm. so i get that part um she played them in the beginning saying that they didn't have to pay nothing at first but suddenly they had to pay something um then she took 20 percent out of what was supposed to be 20 percent but it ended up turning into them getting half of what they were originally supposed to get but she still overcharged them up to 20 percent um of what they technically didn't even have so they was left with a little bit of money and then um she started all of this with the rest of them she made all of them recognize how much of a, a snake she really was she definitely played her entire self on this one Let's get it. Okay, so this again, she trying to override our account. So I'm getting in there, I'm up in there, I'm up in there trying to change up things. So I finally got that changed. I got my own move up into Kayla, which I didn't know nothing about this. She didn't no. let us know nothing about this. We didn't, I, I don't care. I ain't know. We did not know anything well, we about know Google authentication from Adam Eve. We did not know that. So. <laughs> Google authentication. They didn't know. I didn't know either. I had got on. Um, my Facebook that I have for like ever and my Instagram got hacked and it was because I didn't have the uh, second authentic authentication on my account. So if you want to be a YouTuber and all that, make sure you get a second authentication on your account. It will authorize your cell phone or your other email, whatever email you got and <clears throat> let you know that somebody's trying to get into your account. And then if you can see as you can see, they have two emails besides ours. Two emails. That she got Google authenticated on, but she tried to uh, black them out. So, anyways, so she that means she got on other people's accounts, just not ours. But so now, you know what I'm saying? So after we kicked her out of it. So that's how Carmen, that's how Corey found out that she had the second authentication on his account. And I guarantee he didn't know that she had that second authentication on there. But if Ari said that they heard everything, why didn't they know about the second authentication? I don't understand that. Messed up and did all this kind of her people, her people was, no, our people was like, you know, we should go ahead and, you know, talk, talk to her. Right? So I was like, okay, cool. So after she sent the message, the video, right? So after she sent the video, video, video seeming all sad, so, seeming like she wanted to just communicate with us. She wanted to talk to everything, her personal level. Everything. So after that, so after that, now we um, I called her, I called her. So we like Facetime and stuff like that, and it's just like one of the, it's like ain't no cap. It was like one of the emotional moments because it's like I looked at this woman like a mom, like I really looked at this woman like a mom that I had in like in like in Houston. Cause my mom and my daddy, you know what I'm saying, her mom and her people like well, they, you know what I'm saying, they back in Baton Rouge. So like she was the only person I felt like you know what I'm saying was connected to in Houston, like really had our backs of had our best interest. So I'm telling her, you know what I'm saying? I gave her probably like 14 things. And if you're watching it and you know and you know the truth and you know you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I'm looking, look. So I'm 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 am I'm talking to her and I'm telling her we just gonna why I wanna leave, you know what I'm saying? But first, you know, remember first we told her when we first got on the phone, we said, Hey, we just we just don't wanna work with you on a business level. We wanna we'll be okay with being cool with you because we have so much respect for you yes. and we and we yes. we told her because we love you. Yes, we love 
just so much stuff. To be false, I'm saying all this stuff. The reason why I, I, we, I was telling her, like, you know what I'm saying? I have no problems with you personally, and then this wise, you know what I'm saying? I just want, was telling her all that. He was I like, I just want out. I just want, I just want, like, everything. That damn Nate will not let him finish. You know what I'm saying? I just want to provide for, you know, my family, my son, and stuff like that. So I'm telling her. Multiple things, why? Multiple things, why? You know what I'm saying? And I'm just being, I'm just being honest with it. And I'm not gonna cap. She, she was even feeling what I was saying. She, at the, what, that's what she was portraying me. She was making me. She was feeling everything I was saying. And the crazy thing is, about the whole time I told her all 14 or 15 things, cause she wrote it, she wrote them down. I was on Facetime. She wrote them down and. Everything she said, she was like, it's so crazy because everything that you said don't have nothing to do with me. It don't have nothing to do with her because it's it's, be, it's behind her own. How, how can I say it? It's out of her control. No, it's like, it felt like. Shanae, you are an idiot. <laughs> you needed these people and you needed their money. And you wanted to take control of them and you wanted them to be stupid. So you could just play with them and do them how you wanted to do them. But karma is a bitch. You played your whole self. I would have been as nice to them as I possibly could until they cut me off. And I would have been stacking my money until they cut me off. But what you did was cut yourself short. You crazy. So, first of all, when we first got on the phone, this one thing says she want to say, you know, oh, Nikki King betrayed me. Nikki King, they actually did my son and my daughter, but they the main ones that flipped on me and they some snakes. When we first got on the phone, we said, oh, we, we will, you know, have a personal relationship with you. We just don't want to do business no more because we feel like you got too much on your hands. We feel like, you know, you got, you got too much of this and too much of that. And we feel like, you know. We giving you a break from us, like we really, we we want to, you know, upgrade. You know, get somebody that's really focused on this. Yeah. And by, by the way, y'all don't need no damn manager, man. Y'all don't need no manager. Y'all got everything in y'all hand, literally. You, you don't need a manager, bro. Just reach out to some people, but you don't need no manager. Not for YouTube. And we told. So when we had the whole list about everything that you know we had problems with, we told her fourteen Unless things. Unless you're doing other stuff. And she was like, yeah. I you guys, what y'all looking at, that don't have nothing to do with me. She was saying, oh, well, uh... She was basically, to keep it real, she, she was, was basically... She was everything on Just Quasi Club Game. Just Quasi Club Game and her daughter. Simple. No, that's Just Quasi Club Game. She was blaming on everything on every person in Just Quasi Club Game. And then she tried to say, oh, well... Um, what we had told her, she was like, we were saying, we just had a long list. One of the things that we said was, oh, well, we feel like you just don't have our best interests at heart. We feel like this whole time you just been, you know, Collecting. not really looking. Collecting. Yeah. Collecting we like, was, and you're not really helping us. Like, you're really not helping us anymore. Like, it's like, besides, just, no, it, it just wasn't no help. And I had a whole conversation. So they kept, um, uh, payout. On Social Blade is $23,000 a month. So that means she was getting almost $5,000 from them. That was the 20%. I'm talking about, we was on the phone for like probably like 30 minutes, an hour, you know what I'm saying? And it was like one of, it was an emotional but it conversation. But like she kept trying to manipulate us to yeah. turn on our mm -hmm. yeah. She was like, we just kept saying, we, we was telling her reasons. She was like, well, did anybody check on y'all? Did Chris or Trey call y'all? Because I told him to call you. Um, did uh, Cormac Corey uh, call you? Because you can you see that I don't give a F about y'all because ain't nobody calling check on y'all. Because when I wrote that in the group message and I told them about what was going on, ain't nobody check on y'all. Ain't nobody do this or nobody did that. And she was like, uh, well, I don't know what's going on and I, we don't know what this is and I don't know what this is. So can't we, not, no, one of the things, one of the things. We ain't talk to the whole group. We ain't talk to nobody. Niggas ain't even talk to nobody. Talk to nobody. The only time you talk to is Austin. Austin. She even tried to turn Splane on Austin. She said, uh, cause Splane had talked to Austin, but he said, don't tell nobody you talk to me because, you know, we, we don't really want to, you know, deal with all that right now. She said, she told Austin, she said, I mean, no, she told Splane, did Austin even check on you? He's supposed to be your friend. Did he check on you? Cause I know how I feel. Nobody checked on you. And that means nobody gives an F about y'all, but, um, y'all, y'all didn't me, but it's not me. So we like, one of the things on our 14 things, we was like, uh, we said, we told her, we feel like she just don't have our best interest at heart. So one of the things I uh, was, one of our problems is that she didn't want us to go to the Queen concert. I mean, the Queen video. So.
That's why Eric didn't go. That's why Eric didn't go, y'all. So you guys, so y'all, if y'all don't know, we was in Queen Mama Hands video. Well, we made that decision on our own. <coughs> Queen originally wanted the whole baby mama crew. So when Queen wanted the whole baby mama crew, um, it was okay. You know, when everybody, all three of the baby mama crew members was able to come, it was okay. Everything was perfect. She was like, this is perfect. This is great publicity for you guys. This is something that's, you know, it's, it's good. Everybody going to benefit from this. It's going to be great. It's going to be beautiful. I can't wait. Just showing her utmost, just... She was just so excited about it. So the next day she was like, um, all of a sudden oh, she hit, she hit us up. All of a sudden she said, I don't think y'all should go. So we were like, okay, well, why don't you think we should go? So, um, what happened? Oh, uh, we seen this thing. We I was like, Well, why why you don't think we should go? Because everybody's going. So we seen this thing saying that uh, you know, her daughter wasn't going. So we was like, okay, well, me and Carmen gonna hold it down. Good. You know, we gonna hold it down for Baby Mama Crew. That's fine. Um, you know, we'll go. So it was a little weird that suddenly everybody couldn't show up. It was like she was like, yeah, I'm inviting the Baby Mama Crew. It was cool, and then it was like, well, she couldn't show up. She couldn't show up, and she couldn't show up. It was like, why? How all of y'all got something to do at that time? Lies and deception. Lies and deception. We thought we were still like excited. We gonna hold it down for the rest of the crew. We gonna hold it down for the rest of the crew. So she was like, she was blowing out from the. I don't think y'all should go. What are y'all going for? So you know, she was like, um, uh, my daughter not going because she got something to do. And um, you know, she was saying, oh, my daughter not going because of this and because of that because she signed to this and she signed to that. So um. We was like, okay, that, I mean, we just feel like, you know, in our hearts, and that's what we want to do. She asked for us to come, and we're not going to, you know, shade nobody yeah. just because you told us to shade somebody. That. For us, we feel like we don't judge people. Grown as hell. Yeah. We don't judge people off of what somebody else said. We have to meet that person. So, and that's another thing. For all the people saying, oh, y'all been hearing stuff about her, why y'all didn't, you know, Listen to them, damn. We 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 just have people we gotta see for ourselves. Yeah, I'm not gonna. That's like you can't tell me something about somebody. I got like there's a lot of people that somebody that told me about somebody and I done met them and talked to them. And, and they totally, totally different, different people. people. I agree with so that. What he say, she say, exactly. Oh, so she was like, don't go to the uh, video shoot. What y'all going there for? She was saying, I bet Queen ain't gonna uh, reimburse y'all. I bet that she won't do no video with y'all. She just trying to use y'all. Putting all this in my head. So we like. God got us. We still won't go. We got faith. I mean, we wanted to go. We like, wanted to go. We wanted to, you know, we just really wanted to go. We, we had positive vibes. So the, when we told her that situation on the phone, she said, oh, that wasn't even me. She said, my daughter didn't want to go because she didn't want to be in Queen's shadow. So I couldn't let everybody go and um, my daughter not go. So you just threw Ari up under the bus? <laughs> First of all, Nikki can't throw Ari up under the bus. That's number one. One thing I can say, she was subliminal with what she was saying, but she didn't say no names. However, it's no way in the hell all y'all had something to do at that one point in time. So on account of your hate that you have, because your daughter didn't go because you didn't want her to be under a shadow. What shadow, nigga? It's a music video. I'm an extra. <laughs> what shadow am I up under? You know what I'm saying? But not only that, you would have got publicity for millions of people to see. And you talked your daughter out of that. Aries a fool. Because mama not. Oh, baby girl, you tripping. She tripping, tripping. Hell no. So at that point, at, back in the day, when we first, before we went, you told us that that we was going to get bashed. You said that Queen was a colorism. Yeah, she I'm had like, that colorism scam. I'm like, that ain't and that you know, I'm like, I mean, exactly. So she was like, oh, y'all going to get bashed if y'all be in Queen video because y'all know what she be saying about dark skins. So we was like, we haven't even heard of her saying nothing bad. She's not a bad person. All, she great good by to us all the time. So when that happened. Boy, hate is real. And she used to be beside her, nigga. She, Janae used to be her manager. Somebody who used to like her a lot. And you doing her like that? 
That's crazy because Queen ain't had nothing to do with this. I don't know why they threw her name in there, but anyway. When we got on the phone with her, it was a whole different story. She was blaming everything on everybody. She was like, oh, the only reason why I didn't want y'all to go or I told y'all not to go is because my daughter said that um, she didn't want to be in Queen's shadow. And, um, so you know, Aries it said it. About the label thing. So it's like, how you, how we know all these? You spend the tea on your own daughter. So at that point, we like, oh, so if you're talking about your own daughter, we you, definitely can't trust you. You talking about, uh, you talking to, to us, us about, about your own daughter. daughter. So Oh, now this is when Blame it, it, this, on her now, this is when it started. So after that, I started taking that information, and I'm talking still. Like I said, I'm still on the phone. Wi-Fi hacking up. Here, I'm, Everything I'm talking to her. So, so we just like well, at the end, after at the end, was, and she threw it. So the way she did it, she made it seem like it really wasn't her fault. So we was like, dang, I still want out though. Like I just still want out. You know she what I'm like, saying? Well, can I do a 90-day trial, a 30-day trial? Was it a 90-day? Trial, it was like, a 30 day trial. She was like, Can we do a 30 day trial? She was like, Can we do a 30 day trial? If I don't prove to you guys that I'm, um, you know, here you go, she said, We can, can we do a 30 day trial? And if I don't prove to you guys that, you know, I'm down for y'all, leg in the hurt, you know, start wow. making effort on getting y'all brand deals and checking y'all emails because at first she wasn't doing it. So I, I, if I do all this type of stuff, can we still work together? We said, No. I mean, it's no point. You've been doing this for a few months. We've been feeling this way for a few months. Yeah. Um, before we even like, you know, Happy. we been feeling like we wasn't, you know, she wasn't doing nothing for us too much. But on the strength of our personal, on the strength of our personal relationship, we was like, dang, like we really love this. Like this, uh, this. They want to take that money out of her pocket, y'all. She got kids, you know what I'm saying? She playing this whole I'm your mama shit, which is weird because. God, she's so manipulative. It's sick. You know what I'm saying? And then for you to throw your 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 daughter up under the bus, money is the root of all evil, bro. And and you need it. You know what I'm saying? You need it. So it's just kind of like Aries still giving her twenty percent. She's a fool. It's a, we can't do that to her. Like we don't want to leave her. Like yeah. she's had them for. A year or more now which means she's made a good amount of money off of them because all of them was paying plus she stole like a lot of money from Armand of Trey and, and a lot of money from DME Nation I, she got to be a half meal up baby what is she spending all this money on is my question We, we believe that we start getting emotionally attached instead of business attached. Yeah. Because emotionally attached, that was how that was holding us back from a lot. She of made it personal. Start thinking business wise, then business move wise. And we was like, like oh, we not, uh, we, we not, you know, right? We not accomplishing more things on a business level. Right. It's yeah. a lot of things on like what, what we're gonna do. But anyway, so after that day, I talked to her on the phone. You know, what I'm saying we. we Came over, she's like, 30 day agreement. I never said anything about that. Da, da, da. I told her no. I told her no. Then, oh, then after that, you know what I'm saying? I ain't talked to her probably like a day, a day or two. So she now. She said something about agreement. Remember when we talked to her on the phone? Agreement. She said that, oh, uh, oh, if you guys don't, okay, if y'all don't want to be with me, and she ain't say nothing about the personal no more. She was stop talking about the personal. When we said we didn't want to work with her and we didn't want to be on the business of her, everything for personal went out the window. So we like, oh, okay. So she starts saying, okay, so if you guys want to get from under me, uh, you can pay me a fee, a one-time fee, and we can be good. So either it's the 30-day trial or it's the one-time fee. It was the, it was a fee. So I was, what like, was the how fee? Much, how much the fee? So she was like the she rest. Tell us. She didn't tell us the fee, but she was like uh, basically how much, much we still had on the contract uh, that I had still never seen of my signature or her signature uh, on. Period. So I was like, okay, cool. Got the phone with the phone. Day one or two later. Uh, everybody Car came over here. Everybody came over. No, Carmen and Corinna. Carmen and Corinna came. Carmen and Corinna came over here. And so, like, so this is like I said, is me and me, me and me. We like we we don't get into nothing. We we like I said. We, we had left it alone. We, we didn't let like, nobody know nothing. what was going on. We didn't talk to nobody. Bruh. Except explain and talk to Austin bruh, once. Bro, nobody knew what was going on. But she went back over there to the to the group and was talking stuff. So not everybody questioned like. What's Man, going on? I, like, I thought that was y'all fate. I thought that was your fate. Like, no. So you already lost this money from me, from them. 
Then you decide to go tell the rest of the group about something that's going on that they ain't even told nothing about. And you lost more money? All of this is her fault. It's her fault that she did them like this. And it's her fault that she lost her monthly income. You're a fool. I mean, just threw the money away. She was like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? fuck that money. Bad. You know, you, what? Carmen and Corey came over here, you know what I'm saying? Just talking, as y'all can see, probably a long time ago, he, he went on live. So he didn't know how to. No, he, before that, before that, she had told the, the other house. No, that was after. That was after. Oh. That was after. So after, after that situation, Carmen and Corey them came over or whatnot. And. They were trying to see, like, basically we had to show them the same. I had, you know, we had to basically show them the same because stuff. Because Corey finally realized right. all the stuff that she had on his account. Right. She had all the stuff on his account. So she had stuff that she Wi-Fi had on, our, on Carmen and Sorry Corey. Sorry about my Wi-Fi. But she had more. Yeah, more, more stuff she had. Because y'all know how she Corey, y'all know stuff. how Carmen and Corey is? You know how she used to make, now, this is back in the day. She used to make comments like, oh, Corey moving like a snake. Oh, I'm going to make sure I lock him in. I ain't going to make, I ain't going to lock y'all in. But I'm going to lock y'all in. Him in because um he messes with the right one, he messes with the right one. So you know, she's still saying this type of stuff, but we just like looking over like, oh well, Corey, he just Corey, Corey, just yeah. Corey. We, start, we, had, we had to start burning him, but you know what I'm saying, keep going, you know what I'm saying. What I'm saying is basically like she like he after he seen all that stuff that she had, he was like, dang, what is that? Like what like he didn't he even know. Us. He didn't even know he was he didn't even know. That he had it to, happened to us. Bro, he didn't even know all that stuff, bro. He didn't even know. And he didn't even know that all the stuff that was on the like her two step verification, all that stuff, he didn't even know all that was on his Recovery account. Count, all the authenticator. Account. Then all and then the crazy part is when he came over here, we had just seen uh, one hour ago on her phone that she just logged into his stuff on his on her phone on his phone. He was like, dang, like she loved Because we showed him how to do all that. We showed him. Cause he he didn't know our story until he got it. Cause we didn't want to tell nobody, and then you know it'd be around. Like oh, Nick King said that this, and Nick King said that. So every person we talked to, we wanted to talk to the person. We wanted them to come to our house. And he he called us and said, y'all know y'all know uh, which call did this? She did this. She had this on my account. Y'all know that? Y'all know that? We was like, hey, it's she like, had it on us too. But it just and then for I knew deep down in my heart, deep down in my heart. I ain't know for like kind of person that me and niggas. I knew people was gonna. And we would never said that people still was gonna come around. Like everybody out there was gonna come around and wonder what was going on. Why she was gonna put something? Yeah. Why wouldn't they? But see, she's an idiot, bro. I can't believe this. I'm talking about they done it. Like talk about tea. Oh, baby, they dropping some tea today. You and me. Well, tonight. I'm going to be up all night fooling around with this. Yo, that's crazy. I don't understand why they didn't know about the two-step authentication. If their mom and them read the read the um, contract at first, the first contract. Because Eric claimed that they read over and it was on there. In their mind, like the, the same way she was trying to manipulate us to think that the whole group hated us, she was gonna put it in their head that oh, no, Nikki King left. She did. Uh, she, she did. She she remember she she told them she was telling them buku stuff about it. Yeah. Time. After she, that, after I got Corey in this situation out, you know what I'm saying? She had called Corey and was talking to him and stuff like that. Corey, I ain't supposed to you know speak on what they was talking about. Cause that's another that's, that's for his video. That's, 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 for that's for if he do one, that's if he him. To. That's for him. So after I didn't, you know, since she called me. Oh, and I, I ain't answer because I'm like, I don't, I, don't, I don't really want to talk. You know what I'm saying? So now, you know what I'm saying? There's a situation. Later on that day, there's another situation of, um. Well, she texted us. She texted us. She texted And she was like, uh, uh, I, I'm just so hurt. And uh, let, let, she copied and pasted and sent this message to me and Carmen. The same day. Me and Corey and Carmen. I mean, me and Corey is playing. This, so this, the this, same this, message. This, she texted us, okay, the same day that Corey came over here and he was on live and stuff like that and she called him and he, you know, talked to her and then he hung up she called me I didn't answer. We had went out to eat. When we went, I mean, Carmen and Corey and he went out to eat. We was driving. She sent 
B, this what she said. This what she said. This what she's reading. What she said something to us. She said, "Would it work if we ended the agreement on January twenty first with no strings attached? Payment for November, December, and last month in January to go separate ways. I need to know so I can have paperwork for my attorney." So she been threatening us with paper. Trying to manipulate them with this paperwork shit. By this time, these kids got money. They don't. And I don't mean to call them kids. I'm just older than them. But they got money. Like, they're not worried about no attorney. Get your attorney. Bet. That's not what you. She's an idiot. Like, first of all, I don't want nobody to get taken advantage of. So, that's not what I mean when I'm saying she's an idiot. She's an idiot because she played her whole self. Literally, trying to play somebody else, she played herself. make more than Nick and King but twenty thousand dollars you already have added up a, 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 a decent amount already so then you go the greedy way you already playing yourself and playing yourself and digging yourself in a, a, a deeper ditch and got the audacity to ask for 20 after that yo you disrespectful bro and then ask Carmen Accord for 50 because they make a little more. Girl. <laughs> oh, Jesus, take the wheel. Oh, my God. you She's sick, bro. This sick. And she hit, then she hit me with that message, 20000 so, so we was on the way to the restaurant with Corey and Carmen. So when we sat down, she like, they like, Janae sent us a text message talking about something. She wrote $40,000. We like, she said, we didn't say thing. nothing about it. We said, she said, we said, we, we said, she sent us the same thing. We read it. It was copy it and paste. Was copy and so paste ain't no personal thing. stuff, you know, copy and paste message, period. No, no. But you love us so much, like your kids. So, so after that, after that being said, so we like 20 some thousand dollars. So now, this, so now I'm not talking to her no more. This is what I'm talking no. Nothing. We ain't got nothing, nothing else to talk about, baby girl. Nothing. So now, you know what I'm saying? I, I left her alone. So now, the like, same day. Go, leave it alone. We the same go. day. The same day. Everybody came to our house. Everybody came. JQ, QCG, everybody came to our house. Everybody came to our house that day. Even friends came to our house. You know what I'm saying? And was basically running, running to us. She's saying that she was what? trying to force them to sign a new contract. Right. With a group of stuff in it that was that the contract y'all seen. The, the, Plus more, she was trying to force them to sign it. So we didn't never get that con that contract where everybody else had to sign. You know, the, the, we didn't never get that kind con that contract. Never came to our face. Nobody never signed that. Contract. Nobody never signed that contract. That, that's to clear that up. Nobody ever so signed that. Thank you, God. I was about to say, who signed it? Who signed it? <laughs> Nobody signed it. Girl, do you know that you just threw away? A big ass investment. First of all, they trusted you. Okay? So you were supposed to play your role and you were supposed to play it right. So instead of playing it right, you played straight to the left and played yourself. Yo, that's wild. We didn't even tell nobody 
Okay. Wow. Don't keep signing up, Janae. Don't do this. We didn't tell her none of that stuff. So now, this was, this was what's going on. So when everybody came over, she was there. Everybody was, was mad. She, everybody was mad. Everybody, she was just basically saying that, basically telling them that. They had to sign a contract. Had, they had to sign a contract. And if y'all don't know, they moved into her old house. So she said, if you ain't signed this new contract, you got to get out of my house. You got to So all me. our other squad members that was living in their house, she tried to put them out. She ain't tried. Put them out. She put them out. And another thing too, what really this this is so now it's coming back, information is coming back to us that, that she was talking people about are people, people are she talking about us and she's saying stuff like um like without her, me and Nick ain't gonna be anything or what I was just basically just saying. The people stuff. that you love so much, like your right. kids. Like all of a sudden since we don't wanna pay you no more, we don't work with you on a business level. But we said we work with you on a personal level. Yeah. The people you love so much. Right. That's the one that you saying. You oh, we not gonna be we not gonna, gonna be that. We not gonna be that. So everybody looking at her like, why you know what I'm saying? You can't you can't just solve nobody, don't solve nobody down like that and stuff like this. So when they tell us this, we like, dang, like it start hurting us because I'm like, I really look That's what really hurt our feelings. That hurt my feelings too. This woman is like a mom and you saying this that and I knew I knew it was true. I know it was, I knew that part was true because it's still more. So now. The group, you know what I'm saying, the group leave and stuff like that, all the extra stuff, everybody leave and whatnot. So now, Cora and Carmen, and them, you know what I'm saying, we talking to them, we talking to them and stuff like that. So this yeah. night sending me, Corey, Corey and Carmen sending me messages on what she texting them about me. I feel like this, if you got something that, I feel like this, if you talking to them about their situation, don't bring me or her up. Talking about bad about us to make them still be with you. Don't do that because they ain't. We ain't got nothing to do with that. We didn't persuade them so, to lock you out of their account. So we so, didn't tell them. I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to my missus. I'm gonna go to my missus. So I, this is one, but she was saying multiple things on the phone, saying, "Oh, you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think Nikki King? Yeah. Right. They, this is what she been. This is what she said. This is what she said. This is what she said to Carmen and Corey now. But she said a lot of verbal stuff to the group and to a lot of stuff to Carmen and Corey. But this is what she only sent to them and for the text them to send to us. So, so um, you can read it. You don't know. So okay. she, this is when she's, she was outside of Carmen and, and Corey. Corey. Side note, she's such a caterer. <laughs> you want me to read it? She been saying it the whole night. Like, hold on, you want me to say it? <laughs> it's so cute. Okay. House. And they wasn't answering the door. It's not like me and King was there saying, holding the door, saying, don't answer for a shit. Right, he wasn't even there. We wasn't even there at this he, point. He didn't want to answer the door because he didn't want to answer the door. Ain't no, me or King ain't never persuade nobody in just place to play game to leave the, um, uh, her, you know, company or whatever she want to call it. Whatever so, it so is. So, this is what she tell us play. I mean, no, uh, this, was, this is what she tell Cora. She Cora Remember, this. Cora was on live here. Like, yeah, Cora was on live, so remember this, remember this. She said, this is much bigger than business. It's about the relationship. I love you. I look at you like a son. I'm not leaving till you answer, so I guess uh, I'll be here. So she just told Spring she look at him like a son. She love him. Hold on, yeah. So much. But you telling Cora now that you look at him like a son, too, since me and King is done with you. Okay, so she said, I know you're here. I saw you pull up and cut the lights off. She said, seriously, it's cold. It's embarrassing. This hurt outside the house. This wakes outside the house. Not us, you know. We not holding the note. We not there. She just texts and he ain't replying. So she said, this is embarrassing, but hey, I'll get a cheer. Corey, please answer. So she said, I don't care about the business. Once again, she's telling everybody she don't care about the business because she, cause she love everybody so personally. She love everybody. She said, I don't care about the business, but what are you saying to you? I mean, what people are saying to you, I know about. I know about King and how he's been manipulated stuff y'all Ari said where are the receipts <laughs> they done brought receipts all and through this video so her manipulating people they just proved it I know about King and how he's been manipulating you, manipulating stuff. About King and how he's manipulating. How he's being manipulated by stuff. Basically, she was making it. She was basically trying to make me. She was basically saying that I was manipulating everybody out mm -hmm. the group and I, I just played the clock game. Everybody out the group and I have not once. Not because of her new contract. Not because I was manipulating people. I was like she was she was really talking like she was verbally. And they came to us angry at our house saying 
She trying to make us sign this new contract that got a whole bunch of stuff saying that she gonna pay us in 30 days and she gonna hold our money for this amount of time. She got 100% control over our account. This is what she's telling. That's what everybody coming back telling us. So we like, damn, damn. Now once did we tell anybody, man, you should leave her. You should leave her. You should leave her. So after this, she said, this, um, after that, after this, after she left their this, house, this will really, this will really, like. Corey had something that's probably like 10 o'clock that But I'm Saturday. glad you and Corey have a strong enough relationship for him to send to you because he could have took this to the head and y'all would have never been talking. He could have thought. Okay, like, so Corey had sense in the situation. I heard that we ain't never had no problem with Corey coming before we got with this lady. So I feel like all this stuff that you've been stirring up when you really think about it and think deep, who's been the one behind this? Who's been the one behind all these messy videos that's been, that's been, who's been telling us to post? Who's been behind all that? So I feel like before we met her, ain't Corey and Carmen and Nikki King ain't never had no problem with each other. We was like this. But no, ever right. since it, I feel like she was feeding off drama. Joelle said that. Joelle said that. Right. So, She'll tell me one thing. And it made me feel like it, but then go back and tell him one thing. And we had said me, me, Carmen, and Corey, when, when we sat down and we talked about it, and we was like, and we all came back and was like, dang, she told me this, or dang, she told you this too, like, dang, she's crazy because she said this about me, and I was like, dang, I didn't even say that, or he didn't even say that. Mm -hmm. about stuff. So this is what really drew the line for me, bro. After I'm, I'm not talking to him, I'm quiet, we ain't saying nothing, but she's steady. So, but you know how she used to always tell her, Court that he better than everybody. Right. Court this that he don't need nobody, and that's to make us mad because we're like, what you mean? Like, what? That, that's what Court She put them in competition. Girl, you are the Donald Trump of YouTube. Donald Trump, you pale. Something wrong with you. Oh, shit. Receipts and they brought you receipts, girl. <laughs> oh, King says, Psych, I'm playing like you, I'm playing with you, like you know how boys play. So she said, like, Come on now, Corey, you smart than that. Don't be nobody's fool. Remember, you and Carmen are the heavyweights, you don't need anybody. So, you really been having people fall out like that, you Donald Trump. Oh, Kanye West, girl, you are different. You are a different species doing that to them kids, man. And they kids because they younger than you. That's fucked up, bro. This so fucked up. I'm so glad they came with receipts. What the fuck, bro? Huh? What the hoes do? Yeah. Nick, you can't rap. <laughs> I already know. Yeah. Niggas hating on me, that's a good joke. Uh. Five, four, three, two, that go to gun smoke. Uh. I do the shit for fun, just like my videos. Yeah. Yo, where the henny at? Okay, I'm in my zone. Flex on them, no. Get that money, bitch. Yeah. Niggas talking about me now, I'm not 